Okay, so am I shouting? I feel like I'm shouting. Uh, my character, Midge Maisel, is all about fearlessly sharing her voice and an experience that was considered unwelcome and unimportant in its time. But we, of course, now know that every single voice matters. And that's why I am so inspired by LGB LGBTQ people and allies who speak up for acceptance. We see so many powerful examples in GLAAD's nominees for outstanding drama series. Previous winners include LA Law, Six Feet Under, and The L Word. The GLAAD Media Award goes to Pose. <laughs> I want to say thank you to GLAAD, and I'd like to introduce to you Miss Janet Mock. First off, I want to thank um, GLAAD for your continuous work to ensure that we are all seen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to our deeply loyal audience who showed up each week to laugh and cry with us. Without you, we'd be canceled, so thank you. Thank you to the ballroom community for trusting us to tell your story and for showing us all the importance of creating our own safe spaces. Thank you to my friend and mentor, Ryan Murphy, who remodeled, role modeled for so many of us how to use your power and your privilege to change the game. Um, showing and proving that a drama about LGBTQ folk starring people of color and trans women is not only possible, but it can be impactful. Thank you for inviting us all to the table and for allowing us to take over the party. Stephen Canals, our co-creator and leading heart, could not be here tonight. And it must be known that he is the heart of our show, the real life Blanca. Um, Stephen created Pose as a response to not being seen, a way to tell black and Latinx folks, queer, trans, and non-binary that we see you. Thank you for your gift, Stephen. Um, Pose honors the rich history of our people, centering us unapologetically. Working on the show is a gift. I've, seen my, I've never seen myself or my sisters on television as heroines. Um, Pose is a vital intervention in a world that tells us that we do not matter and that we should not exist. It is a love letter to my sisters and siblings, so often discarded, yet resilient enough to build houses, to save lives, and to show us what a real family looks like. Thank you to those who came before us, Octavia and Venus, Corey and Pepper, <laughs> Angie and Carmen, Saul and Freddie, Jose and our recently departed Hector Extravaganza for giving us so much, for showing us, for existing, for resisting, for creating, for loving, and for shading one another. Without you, we would not be here. Thank you so much.